Congratulations on the film and your Cannes Awards. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I mean, it's, this is very much a Pedro movie. It's it's very funny, but also very touching. I mean, when you read the script for the first time, was this like almost the, the culmination of his career in many ways, given that it's about him in many ways? Uh, it was, yeah, I've been saying that the whole time because many people insist if it was a, there was a lot, a lot of pressure for me to play this character. Yeah, there was pre pressure, but it's pressure every time that I play somebody that existed. In, uh, whether if it was that person was alive or he was dead, I just try to represent somebody that means for real something for many people. You try to, as hard as you can to understand the person and portray him the most fair possible way. Uh, with Pedro, I had him behind the camera, so um, I had to tell you the truth. You know, it was more the, the work that we did in the rehearsal time to understand how we were going to attack the movie and the character itself because when they we start working we had the time to start putting the pieces of this puzzle very slowly uh, there were cert certain premises that i put in my mind and i talked to pedro that we should do to use a lot of economy to be very transparent to allow the audience to have a seat with me where they can sit with me and travel with me because at a certain point i saw my character almost like a witness of himself inside of the movie so i, I just try to understand the type of movie that, that we were doing the type of style that we were just uh, and at the same time to understand why pedro almodovar called me the rest of the work was for me like a, a completely you know, uh, uh, with like another character that I have played in another movie. Yeah. Given that you did some rehearsal time, time there's a wonderful scene between uh, Salvador and his, his ex-partner that's very, very touching. Was that something that you had to rehearse down to a, down to detail? Or did, did, he, did Pedro let you kind of play with, with that sequence? No, Almodovar I, I, I likes to rehearse down to the bone. He's very meticulous, he's very demanding, and he likes things to be very precise. Um, so that's why you have to be very alert all the time because um, insignificant details for others may mean a world for him. So you have to be very, uh, you know, as I said, alert uh, yeah. all the time, you know. Yeah. And just quickly, I mean, you, you've just done um, Dr. Doolittle with Robert Downey Jr. You're about to do Hitman's Bodyguard. Is it nice to kind of do, go and do an Amaldivar, but also go back to Hollywood at the time and do some of the kind of bigger movies? I'm an actor, you know, and I never forget that. I, I'm in many different places and uh, and I actually love to play different genres and to jump from characters and from different styles. I love to do comedy and then just jump into something as deep and as complex as this character. It just depends what I'm doing. But there, there is a change in me uh, in the last uh, two years uh, that probably has to do with something that happened to me in my personal level, which is I had a coronary problem and it opens uh, different doors than when they were closed before. I mean, when you see death so close, uh, it's a life-changing experience. Uh, yeah. This is Pedro Papsi's most personal film, given it. it's about his career and about his life. Did you, did you get a sense of that when you read the script, that this was quite a personal story? Yes, I, I was actually surprised that he was going to share so much from his life, even if some things in the script obviously are not about him. But there are many that are, and, and I think you have to be so brave to share that with the public, you know? And I, I really love the movie. I've, I've seen it three times, and I think it's so special. You have this great relationship with, with your the mother and son relationship in the, in the movie. I mean, did, did, did you get a bigger sense of that, given that you're, you're now a mother yourself, and that it's quite a rich and quite a, a very sincere relationship? Yeah, I'm sure I understand it better, but I have played mothers before many times, and most of the times with Pedro. He's always seen me as a mother. And, and he's right, I, I wanted to be a mother from the time I was like five or six years old. I was already dreaming about that. So I think I've played mothers like 15 times in movies. And obviously you don't work directly with Antonio in the movie, but what was your reaction to his performance when you saw the film for the first time? I think he's great because, you know, he doesn't do any kind of imitation of Pedro, but Pedro's essence is there. And, and I think that was a really brave and smart approach you know because I mean that always takes much more work than an imitation and you can see you can feel Pedro's energy there Pedro's spirit is there in every shot and you're filming the 355 I think at the minute this yes. this great cast of, of women in an action movie with Simon Kimberg how's that going how's the experience being in a, in a big movie that's that's fueled by women it's going great um, 
you know, a spy genre where all the female are the leads and, sorry. Um, my character is actually a psychologist for agents. He's not an agent, so it's really interesting and fun to play like the fish out of water in a in a movie like this. And I'm having a great time with all the girls. They're amazing actresses and really kind, and and we really like our director Simon Kimber, and it's going really well. So. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!